The Chinese made it back in the 15th century before Christ. How do I solve you? Where and how to move? It is absolutely unclear. You and I have uncovered the secret of an ancient Chinese puzzle, fellas. Hey, I'm Cubastic and I love solving puzzles. And I really like to wreck my brain. I like difficult puzzles which have their special secret and most importantly story. If you want to solve a Rubik's Cube, you just need to memorize algorithms. To solve it faster, you need to memorize hundreds, thousands of algorithms. But to solve some other non-mechanical puzzles with a special secret that encapsulates very unusual design, it's not just about algorithms. It actually requires brainstorming and special imagination, something that I love very much. And today I have uh, one of these uh, brain teasers, guys. This is a Hanayama puzzle. Hanayama is a very famous puzzle inventor. All of his uh, puzzles are pretty cool. These puzzles have uh, six levels of difficulty. And today's puzzle uh, has uh, six stars. Which means uh, this is the highest, six level. Well, let's find out how I'm gonna handle it. Let's start. As much as I like uh, to solve puzzles, I like to unpack them. Especially now, on New Year's holidays, uh, it feels like I'm unpacking my own New Year's uh, gift. It's like uh, the anticipation of surprise, this nice, childish feeling. It must be familiar to many of you. So how's your holiday smooth? Do you feel the holiday's atmosphere? Write in the comments what did you get your dear people and friends for Christmas. If you usually have troubles with choosing a good gift for your friends, then I sincerely recommend you to gift puzzles. And uh, it has uh, to be quality puzzles uh, that will be pleasant to solve. Quality puzzles can be purchased in the best online puzzle store in the world, thecubicle.com. There you will find an excellent assortment of Rubik's cubes, many accessories for cubes, a mass of cubic and other unusual puzzles. The cubicle provides really fast delivery and great service. I remind you that for my subscribers uh, there is a special discount with promo code CUBASTIC and the link to the store is in the description. Uh, let's take a look at it. Oh, it's so heavy! I love the puzzles you just hold in your hands and you realize uh, they are cool quality puzzles. That is what? Something is buzzing in there, I don't know, you hear it? Sounds awful. And there are uh, two pictures uh, on the other side of uh, the box. What we actually have in the box and what we need to achieve. Uh, I guess I need to take apart this, uh, I don't know what to call it, mechanism locket into two parts. It looks like an ancient Chinese puzzle with a secret that is completely not obvious. Absolutely, I have no idea how to solve it. Let's try? <laughs> Let's try. Come closer. Come closer. Well, guys, what I see is uh, this puzzle. I've literally been looking at it uh, for a few seconds. It's like some kind of uh, Chinese locket. And it's uh, some kind of a secret box, because uh, apparently there is something inside. I don't know what it is. It's either a puzzle mechanism or some price. I don't know what, a piece of gold, a diamond. It would be fun if uh, it was a diamond or maybe a key to the treasury. I don't know. What else I can see here is uh, that uh, this locket, let's call it that, it's made up of uh, two pieces that are connected in this way, like crisscross. And each of the pieces has uh, two caps. I mean, if you look a little closer, this is uh, like a lid, uh, like it should come off. Uh, the same is on the other side. Uh, let's start to solve it. And uh, let's start uh, the timer. I don't even know if I'm gonna need uh, this stoppage today or not. I'm just going to put it down so you can see it. So. What's uh, the first thing we want to do? Of course, uh, to try it with force. But uh, we're not going to use any force. Uh, let's listen carefully to what and where it sounds from. Yeah, apparently uh, there is a hollow inside this thing. And... Uh, or not. I don't know, I think uh, there is more than one object inside. 
Obviously, there's more than one. A few. Where and how to move, it is absolutely unclear. So we're going to look at the structure. What do we have? Two pieces are connected crisscross and apparently 100% they are connected right here in the middle. What's the letter here? Ah, okay, it's a compass. It's a compass. North, south, west, east. Well... Where are you going? Compass, what I have to do with you? Why aren't you being solved? I don't know, and I'm curious about these slots. How do they open up? What are they made for? I have a stupid theory, of course, uh, to put it by north to north, east to east. How is it gonna work? Come on, there's no way this is gonna work. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely more than one element inside. There's obviously a lot of it. How is it done? Wait, what? Okay, come on, really? It just needed a spin. Okay, wait. Guys, I just accidentally... Hold on, hold on. Three minutes? Seriously? It took me three minutes to solve a level 6 puzzle? Come on. <laughs> Mates, this is savage. <laughs> Attention, I'll explain what just happened. Look, really, the two elements were combined criss-cross. Like this. Yeah? What happened? What did I do? I spun it. And uh, now look carefully at the structure. Here we have it. Two details. Okay? One. And two. As soon as we turn it a little bit, the little metal uh, rod hides away. There it is. So it blocks uh, the second part right here in uh, this hole. It blocks it. The same thing if we turn the other way. Another rod falls out. Now we put the rod back uh, like this. On the other side another rod falls out. That is uh, two rods locking the detail from both sides in the center. Another thing. Perpendicular to the detail, there's another thing uh, that locks uh, this detail with the same two rods on the other side. So, the details are held together by these rods. Because of the fact uh, that the rods here are movable, see, they just go back and forth. When they're in uh, that position, that is, uh, they are blocking the part. And did you notice what happened the moment when I spun it? It's gone. Let me show you again. The rod that locks the detail is uh, the same from this side. We spin it, it's gone. Do you know where it went? It's got sucked back into the mechanism by a centrifugal force inside uh, these details. The same thing happens here. Seems like... Uh, uh, God, I've never seen that kind of puzzle before. <laughs> Very sophisticated. The most interesting that is uh, that I sold it almost accidentally. You and I have uncovered the secret of an ancient Chinese puzzle, fellas. That's how they were, these ancient Chinese. So let's uh, try to get it back to its original position and check uh, if uh, that was a coincidence. Did I do it accidentally or not? Whoop. So what do we do? We cover carefully the details. Now I guess we just have to shake it. That's it, they are fixed. Genius! God, this is probably the most brilliant thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's try it again. Okay, we're spinning, so two rods go from here, two rods go from here, spinning, stay close, one more time, one more time, let's try the other side. Oh, haha, <laughs> it worked exactly as I thought. 
That's it, fellas. That's uh, the kind of secrets you and I discover on this channel. So if you're not subscribed yet, just do it. I enjoyed uh, solving and conquering a new puzzle with a new secret and uh, share this with you. If you like this video, hit the like button and turn on the notifications, because unfortunately right now YouTube is not working very well and maybe you can miss some of my videos. Ok, there are also very simple puzzles that look uh, very hard to solve, very difficult, almost impossible to do, like in my previous videos, and uh, there are also these. The 6th level of difficulty out of 6 with just one simple but very tricky secret. Guys, honestly, I enjoyed the solving of this puzzle anyway, I hope you did too. But uh, to be honest, I did it by accident. For me, the clue was uh, that it was a compass. North, south, west, east, compass spins, so I spun it. If I hadn't accidentally twisted it around, I would be still figuring out how to solve this thing. In any case, I really like to get emotions out of the process of solving puzzles. And I really like to do that with quality puzzles. You hold it and you know, this is a worthy thing. The Chinese made it back in the 15th century before Christ. An ancient puzzle. Cool thing. Don't forget that you can find quality puzzles by the link in the description in the cubicle.com store. Thank you so much for watching, it's so nice to share these emotions with you. Subscribe to the channel and if you like this video, hit the like button and turn on the notifications. This was Cubastic, bye everyone and have a good time! The Chinese. Yeah, what a puzzle.